Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Still on Power Machines N5. Today we are looking at interpolation. My name is Tsepo. Please subscribe to my channel to make sure you keep on receiving videos like this and click that notification button so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. Today uh, we are yeah, on interpolation. So interpolation is all about uh, getting the value of a pressure that is not in the steam t in the steam table. So we know that in the steam table, uh, so far we have been using pressure to find uh, certain 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 values like uh, our enthalpy and then our saturation temperature. So what if now you are given a, a pressure in an in equation but when you go to your steam table you find that that pressure is not there so there is a rumor that says if the pressure is not is not there you look like you look for the uh for the value that is the closest to the one you are looking for so i i am confirming this to you now that is not correct so we need the exact values for each and every pressure that we are given in a in a question or in a statement so today we will be interpolating for the pressure of 200 2040 kilopascals so if quick you can run to your steam table and try to find this pressure i can assure you that you won't find it but what if now you are given this pressure in a sentence the correct values must be used so that's why we must interpolate for the correct values do not use the ones that are closer to the no it's wrong we must into we must interpolate for the correct uh, values so now we know that the, uh, 2040 kilopascal that's not in the steam table but we know that 2040 kilopascal will be between will be between 2000 and 2050 kilopascal so we go to the steam table at if in the steam table this will be your first value and this will be your uh, second value we extract the values of um, the two pressures by which the the pressure that we are looking for will fall between so we start with the bigger pressure or the larger pressure and then write its values and then we follow with the smaller pressure and write its values and then now we have this information uh in the board we go and say this pressure the difference between this pressure so it's like it's this minus to the, from this and then we see this is 2050 then this is 2000 we get that the difference is 50 degrees now that is 50 and then we go for the difference between this and then i got that is 1.2 and then find the difference between these at a negative 0, 0,90224 and then the difference between these at 6 and then the difference between these is minus 6 and then there is 0 since you can tell that those values are the same so we have done our first step which is the difference difference that's our first step that we are we, we we do and then we have the difference now we go and say from the uh from the smaller pressure we are looking for a number that when we add into the small pressure we will get the pressure that we want so we know that the pressure that we are interpolating uh we are interpolating for it's 2040 and then we have 
four we have 200 as 2000 as our smaller pressure and we are looking for a value that when we are adding to this it will give us the pressure that we are interpolating for its values and then we find that that uh, value is 40 if we add 40 here we will get 2040 and then we go and say now uh, this is the, is the principle this is the principle 40 uh, this is our 40 divided by our 50 this is the 50 and then times by the difference between these two which is 1.2 and then we get 0 0.96 and then do the same thing throughout we will say 40 divide by 50 times this value which is negative 0 0.90224 and then we get what we get negative 0 0.721792 and then uh, uh, we come and say 40 again okay. divide by 50 times 6 and then it gives us um, 4.8 and then we come again 40 divide by 50 times negative 6 and then we get 4.8 negative 4.8 sorry it's negative 4.8 negative 4.8 and then now we we'll say 40 divide by 50 times 0 which will give us 0 and then we are done now with the second step and then now we add we add 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 and then now we add this the 40 that we have here we add it to 2000 and then it will give us the pressure that's the pressure that we are looking for same for the other values we add this from this and then it gives us um, add, we add, we add, we add. it gives us two one three point three two and then at this value it's a, it's a negative so we will say uh, this minus this and then we get one point seven two one and then we say this add to this it gives us nine one two point eight this since it is a, a negative it's a negative is this negative this which will give us one eight eight uh four point two and then this this that will give will give us the same uh, we add zero to this it give us the same value so that's everything that's interpolation please never never say that we are using the value closest to what we are looking for you must interpolate for the correct values so that you can get that distinction that you are hoping for so this thing it's very easy but it is a uh, very simple to it's even easier to forget this so practice 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 go go find uh examples and then just interpolate it's it's this easy you cannot go wrong with this method so you just find the difference and then look for a number that when you add to the smallest pressure it will give you the original value and then the principle that says 40 divided by 50 then throughout times the, the the difference and then you just add if there is a minus you minus you must consider the negative and then you get your uh
correct values and then continue with your calculation so that's basically the end of our lesson on interpolation uh power machines n5 hope this video will be of help to you please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to comment first comment and then please subscribe to my channel uh share it sh like this video and share it with your friends see you on the next lesson ciao